started to make this small. One month after surgery, 18-year-old Karis remains awestruck by the size of her tumor. So I went to the ER, and from there they thought it was also appendicitis, so they did a CT scan. It was a ganglion aroma, and I don't fully understand the extent of all of it. The papers kept saying tumor. It was something I didn't want to think about. It wasn't going to happen in our life, and <laughs> it was hard. Testing revealed the mass as benign, but future complications could arise without its removal. That required a procedure that's among the most difficult. This specific tumor wrapped all the way around the aorta and encircled it and you had multiple vessels that came straight through and out. This was in a very, very dangerous, concerning place that affects you know, not only the blood vessels to the body and the blood vessels that uh, deliver uh, blood to the valve, but also it impacts the, uh, the kidneys. To better understand the tumor's challenging location, Children's Innovation Team 3D printed much of Karis's midsection. 3D modeling gives you the advantage of being able to actually feel the model remove different structures and interact with it in a way that kind of helps you with surgical uh, surgical planning. Then Dr. Patrick Thomas encouraged taking the imaging a step further by creating a virtual reality landscape for surgical planning. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, no one has done this before as far as I know. So, you know, build it, let's take a look at it. Once immersed, the futuristic environment provided insight at the sub-centimeter level. You're actually able to walk into this environment. You're actually able to turn yourself into a, a little robot or a little surgeon. Sometimes you're in the operating room, you're like, man, I wish I could see around that vein. I wish I could see how close this tumor is to where the renal artery is taking off of the aorta. You can actually become more efficient in the operating room. Efficiency was crucial in the 18-hour procedure that included a multidisciplinary effort from general surgery, neurosurgery, urology, and cardiothoracic surgery. So I kind of think of it like a symphony. Everyone has mastery in their area, um, but then you all come together and then you just are able to just perform, you know, a, a, musical, a, a beautiful masterpiece. Um, where everybody's focused on, you know, we've got to give this child the opportunity to have the best outcome. For Karis, that outcome is tumor-free and a healthy future, thanks to the collaboration and innovation at Children's. Most of the time, the innovation comes from folks getting together for the benefit of that child. And when you see it come together, I mean, that's the win. The win is to be able to provide something better for your patient and for your family. Dr. Zarug and Dr. Thomas, they've been amazing as far as very compassionate people and I felt very comfortable putting my daughter's life in their hands because I knew that they were the best. Aries has a tattoo that says, nothing but the best. I'm so grateful that we were able to provide her with nothing but the best and we're just getting started.